Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your TikTok ads to start spending when they're not spending the budget that you want them to. Before we get into the video, though, I'd like to remind you that we have an ongoing giveaway that you can sign up for right now. So we're giving away a one hour consultation call for completely free for anyone who wants to go over their e-commerce business or their media buying or anything that relates to their e-commerce business in a one on one call with me. So if that sounds like something that would be useful to you, Get over to the description, use the link to fill in the form, sign up for the giveaway, and the winner will be announced on the 28th of February. When the winner is chosen, I will be emailing the winner and I will also announce the name of the winner in the next video. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so if you're having issues getting your TikTok ads to spend, there are a few things that you can try. First and foremost, and that's the basic thing that you can try because it's the easiest one to do is, and this is especially useful if you haven't used your ad account before. Sometimes you need to get your ad account running before you get straight into your conversions traffic for complete payment. So instead of going for complete payment right away, you create a campaign and you set it to either traffic or add to cart objective, and you let it run spending about 20 to $30 for a day or two, and that should be enough. If you've done that before and that didn't work, there's two more things that you can try. The first one is to change your pixel and force your ad group to go back into the learning phase. When TikTok goes into the learning phase, it distributes your ads at a cheaper cost and a wider scope because it wants to rush into finding your perfect audience and optimize for that audience. So if you force your ad group back into the learning phase, there is a chance that the ads that were not being distributed because of your bid being insufficient will start getting distributed. So let's hop into the computer and I'll show you how to do that. If you're in your Shopify account and you have your TikTok sales channel set up here, the only thing that you need to do is you go to your overview and then you go to the TikTok marketing settings. This particular store is not connected to any TikTok account, so there's no information here. But when you go here, you will see the pixel settings for your integration. Once you get to the pixel settings, make sure to create a new pixel, apply that pixel, and you're pretty much good to go on this side. The next thing you need to do is use that pixel in your TikTok ads manager. So quickly hopping over to the ads manager here, the only thing that you need to do is replace your TikTok pixel here with your new pixel, try your complete payment as the optimization event and see how that goes. Remember to give it at least one or two days because TikTok ads can be slow to start running sometimes. So don't rush into making decisions, give it a day or two. And if it still is not spending, then move on to the next method. So the next method is fairly obvious. If your TikTok ads are not spending, it's probably because your bid is insufficient. So you want to increase your bid. The problem is that you might want to increase your bid, but you might be scared of it going over your budget and spending too much money. So there's two ways that you can increase your bid. The first one is of course, just increasing the bid, looking at your Shopify traffic, monitoring your Shopify traffic in real time, doing the maths, seeing about how much you've spent to a certain point, And when you think that you've spent your budget, you turn off the campaign. Make sure to monitor this from your Shopify traffic though, not the ads manager, because the ads manager takes a while to update. And by the time that the ads manager reflects the amount that you wanted to spend, you will already have spent a lot more money. Of course, this method is far from ideal. It's manual labor. You have to sit there, you have to monitor things and it might not even work correctly. You might end up overspending because you miscalculate the volume of traffic and the corresponding cost. So there is a way that you can actually trick TikTok into thinking that it has more money to spend than it actually has, thus increasing the bid without risking you going over budget. So let's hop into the ads manager again and I'll show you exactly how to do that. To do that, you wanna to come to the campaign settings on TikTok here. You want to set up your campaign and you want to scroll down here where it says budget. The limit is going to be turned on by default. So you want to make sure that you turn this off and then you set this to whatever your budget is. So if you want to spend $100 a day, you set this limit to $100 and you move on to the ad set. Once you're in the ad set, you're going to scroll down. You're going to set up the ad set, of course, but you're going to scroll down to the important part for this particular tip, which is the budget here. So you're going to set the budget to, let's say, 200. So just this ad set alone is already bidding higher than the limit that you set on the campaign. And now what you do is you set up like three or four or five or even 10 of these ad sets at $200 a day. And if you're doing this, TikTok will think that it has a lot more money to spend than it actually has. And it will probably start spending because it will increase the bid. However, because you've set a limit on the campaign, once you spend your $100, TikTok is going to stop spending in the campaign throughout all of the ad sets. So you never risk spending more than the money that you have available for that particular campaign. Now, this usually fixes any issues with TikTok ads not spending. 
If this doesn't work for you, the best thing to do would be to create an entirely new ad account or even try an agency account. But generally speaking, this works because this will make the TikTok algorithm believe that it has a lot more money to spend than it actually has. So you're setting up a limit at the campaign level and you're using really high budget at the ad set level. So your campaign is going to start spending, but as soon as it reaches your limit, it gets turned off and it only starts again when you increase the limit or when it goes to the next day, because if you set a daily limit, the limit of course will reset in 24 hours. And that's it for today's video, guys. This is a quick video. I just wanted to leave these tips on what you can do to get your TikTok ads to start spending because I've seen a lot of people asking this and struggling with TikTok ads not spending properly. So I just wanted to leave you guys with these tips that you can implement to get your TikTok ads to start running. I hope it was useful. I do have a full TikTok ad strategy video coming very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of every new upload. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. This will allow you to be notified whenever a new video is uploaded.